And I remember being in my car and reading those words and my hands, I, I saw my hands shaking on the piece of paper. That's what I remember, just being shocked by that. At 55 years old and in the best shape of her life, Amanda Coughlin had pancreatic cancer. When I first met her, Miss Pamela Hodel, Dr. Hodel said, see this P? You need to remember the P stands for patient, perky, and pleasant. Oh, and somebody <laughs> added perseverance to oh, that yeah, that's too. Good. <laughs> and I remember that going into surgery, um, you know, all the things that I had to go through, I would just always remember those words. Did you know you're over a year and a half? Like most pancreatic cancer patients, Coughlin had very few symptoms. An ultrasound caught the tumor, and she was lucky to be a candidate for surgery. Most are not. She had the true fighting spirit of a warrior. So I knew right off the bat she's going to do well. But her tumor was in a tough location. Chemo, radiation, surgery, and then more chemo. Now, one year later, she's still not in the clear. The risk is that about 70% of the cases, there is a chance for recurrence of the cancer, even after surgery. There are no screening options for pancreatic cancer, and most patients don't have symptoms early enough to be curable. With more and more patients presenting with type 2 diabetes and obesity as increased risk factors, we're now starting to think that that may be a attributing factor to the increase in the incidence. This cancer doesn't come with a lot of promise, but patients like Coughlin and Trebek come with a lot of fight. If you can get past the first shock of it and just take every day, sometimes it's minute by minute, sometimes it's hour by hour, but if you just take every day as it comes, and remain positive, you can get through it. Now just today, researchers at Moffitt Cancer Center started a new trial for pancreatic cancer treatment. Doctors are attempting to use the patient's immune system to recognize and kill the cancer cells. And you can contribute to life-saving research just like that this weekend. Saturday is Miles for Moffitt. 100% of the proceeds go to research at Moffitt Cancer Center right here in Tampa Bay. 10 News is a proud sponsor of this event in downtown Tampa. You can still donate and you can sign up too on Saturday morning. We've got all those details for you right now at WTSP.com.